God. No, Listen, no. I'm accused of something. something. Standing in a room or something with candles and three dudes dressed in black. They must be judges. Well, I think that's true. I can hardly hear it, but I can see their lips move. They say the words that seal my fate. Guilty, they say. Yeah, these guys want to kill me. I swoon through the black I move. And when I wake up, I find myself in a room. Had they buried me? Is this a tomb? Is this a grave? Well, I can't really say. I don't know where I'm supposed to be at. I open my eyes to see, but it is totally black. The darkness seems so close, wrapped in it like a coat. Nearly choke, nearly give up hope, but no. I want to find out how big the room is. Around the cell I walk, but I trip and fall. Oh. You go round and round and round. It goes down and down and down. You know, nothing but your soul deep in the cell. And if the pit don't get you, then the pendulum will. Round and round and round. It comes down and down and down. You know, nothing but your soul deep in the cell. And if the pit don't get you, then the pendulum will. I go back to measuring my cell. It seems about a hundred paces, but face it, I'm confused. And then I trip over my laces and fall to the floor. But where my face is, isn't the floor, it's a pit. I don't know how deep, so I take a little rock and just let it drop. I hear it knock off the sides of the pit till it falls in the water with a plop. And I realize this pit must have been a surprise to the hundreds of guys like me who died in this cell before. I pass out again, can't take it anymore. I wake up and see the room glows faintly. I'm tied to a cot, there's no escaping. From the ceiling, there's a cord, and it's swinging a pendulum back and forth. And slowly, just barely, the pendulum's getting lower and closer to me. And then I see up all the way and see the bottom of the pendulum's a sharpened blade. It sways, and it'll be a matter of minutes before the blade tears through me, and I'm finished. I try to escape, but I'm tied up in knots, and I'm not able to break free from the cot. I see beside me some spicy meat and now troops of rats come in to eat but i know the truth it's more than a hunch when they finish the meat i'll be feeding them lunch you go round and round and round it comes down and down and down you know nothing but your soul deep in the cell and if the pit don't get you then the pendulum will round and round and round it comes down and down and down you know nothing but your soul deep in the cell and if the pit don't get you then the pendulum now the pendulum descends with a horrible hiss It's getting so lower I yell, yo, please hold up But no luck They don't give a rat's behind about my behind And so I go through my memories on rewind But then I think about the rats behind me I'm not ready to die like B.I.G. Rub the meat on the strap that's attached to my chest Has me latched to the chair and the rats do the rest A rat jumps on my body, starts to chew And then a hundred rats all do that too the rats soon chew through the straps I can move, <laughs> I'm not sliced in half And then my captors pull the pendulum up backwards through the trap You go round and round and round It comes down and down and down You know, nothing but your soul deep in the cell And if the pit don't catch it, then the pendulum will Round and round and round It comes down and down and down You know, nothing but your soul deep in the cell And if the pit don't get but what torture awaits me now? They're not just gonna let me out. I know this is it. The walls get red hot and close into the pit. Cold and dreary, no one near me. My soul aches so alone and weary. I call out, but no one hears me. Silence now, it's totally scary. The walls are closer, I'm crying like a baby. I'm about to fall, it's all over. I shrank back. But the closing walls press me resistlessly onward. At length, from my seared and writhing body, there was no longer an inch of foothold on the firm floor of the prison. I struggled no more, but the agony of my soul found vent in one loud, long, and final scream of despair. I felt that I tottered upon the brink. I averted my eyes. There was a discordant hum of human voices. There was a loud blast as of many trumpets. There was a harsh grating as of a thousand thunders. The fiery walls rushed back. An outstretched arm cut my own as I fell, fainting into the abyss.
the fire of the version. It's been a ride. Yeah. So, I guess I had to go to that place. Oh. Oh.